Is the best office chair list from Tom's Guide another scam? We're going to jump into the list today and find out. We've done two previous lists like this, and both of them seem to be focused on things that were outside their lanes. Let's see if Tom's Guide is the same. So starting off this list, they picked the Branch Verve chair as their best overall chair. And to me, this is not even Branch's best chair in their lineup. Yeah, I mean, I tend to agree here with Robert. I, the fact that they picked the Verve chair over all of their chairs, even in the Branch lineup, let alone just the entire category, I feel like the Branch Verve chair comes with a higher price tag, which I start to think maybe this is where we're leveraging some affiliate revenue. It's going to be twice as much money potentially as those lesser expensive chairs. And honestly, I got to say the task and the ergonomic are significantly better for half the cost. Yeah, this pick is weird to me just for the fact that the two things that they focus on when they talk about how they review chairs is that they use a six foot male. They use the chairs for a long time and they really look for chairs that provide good value. Greg is six foot and he doesn't fit in this chair. The seat doesn't go tall enough for him. And this chair, to me, provides very little value in the scope of all of the chairs that we would be looking at at $500. Not a good value here, in my opinion. So a little bit of a weird pick for me. Yeah, and I think you want your best overall pick to fit a wide range of users, and the Verve is just not going to do that. Right, 100%. Next up in the list, the best ergonomic chair is FlexiSpot's Pro Plus Mesh Office Chair OC14. And again, I feel like they're throwing around some of these things pretty loosely. And this is one of the problems in seating in general. The ergonomic term is being used across so many chairs that just aren't even to the level of a quality that I think they should be deeming something ergonomic. This one's easily not the most ergonomic chair. I have a long list that could fit. I have to question Flexi Spot's confidence in this chair because it doesn't even exist under this name anymore. They renamed it to the OC8, dropped it $100, so it feels like they're just trying to get rid of it. And based on the two previous Flexi Spot chairs that we've had in our office, they were two of the worst quality chairs that we've had. So from a build quality standpoint, standpoint it's not there you're only getting a three-year warranty which is one of the worst in the biz so i just cannot get on board with this as a best for anything pick let alone best for ergonomics yeah and some of the things that they list that they like smooth rolling wheels breathable mesh backrest so the things that they like are not even necessarily ergonomic features and one of the things things they don't like is that it doesn't have adjustable lumbar so it's some of the things that are would make it a better ergonomic chair it actually doesn't have Smooth rolling wheels as the reason why you'd want this. I believe all of the chairs in the list <laughs> will qualify there. Might help with ergonomics, though. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so their pick for the best premium chair, you guys are going to know. I'm going to like this one. This is one pick that I think they actually got right is the Aeron. And uh, if you click on the link, it actually goes to the Aeron stool, which I like even better. So the Aeron is a premium chair. So this one is kind of an obvious pick. Everyone knows Aeron is one of the most premium chairs out there. Of course, the guys might have a, have a different opinion. No, I don't disagree. I mean, I think if we're going to say best premium office chair needs to qualify, I don't think there's probably another chair, maybe the Embody that would qualify here, but I'm happy with this pick. I mean, to have Verve and then Flexi Spot before it is the, this is why we're questioning it, but I think this is a perfect pick here. That's kind of the real eyebrow razor with this is that your previous pick was your best ergonomic chair, which is an all mesh chair for $600. And then your next pick is your best premium pick, which is an all mesh chair, arguably the best one in the world in the Aeron, but it's not your best ergonomic chair. Feels like we're stuffing keywords and chairs in here to make a list. I think the other thing that's funny, and, and maybe it's not funny, this is misinformation, but in the write-up, they talk about how if you just hang out around an office building where they're just unloading chairs because people don't work there anymore, you're going to find one for $400. Number one, I don't know where you would do this. And number two, the average price on a used as-is Aeron right now is around 500 bucks. So, Yeah, and that Aeron you would find would be a classic. It's, right. it's not going to be a remastered chair, which we know is a completely different chair than yep. the classic. So, um, yeah, you might find one for cheaper, but it's, it's not going to be a, a remastered for that price. Okay. The second chair in the list from Branch, this is best for most people, the Branch ergonomic chair. Again, I got a head scratcher here for me because it's like this should possibly be their better pick from Branch. I think it's a better chair than the Verve, in my opinion. But for most people, this chair needs to be highly flexible in sizing, and I don't think it quite fits the bill, not to mention it's not – extremely comfortable and there are a lot better chairs out there that will fit people better more comfortably so I just I don't understand this pick if you were going to make the argument that this is your best pick for most people for around $330 or less 
then I can get on board with this because the options are limited. But from a sizing standpoint, I can't fit in the chair. And I'm 5'9", the armrests are too wide for me. The backrest even feels a little bit too short, and I sink in the mesh a little bit and feel the frame. Overall, just not a very comfortable chair. I think there's a lot better options that you could have gone with for best for most. Yeah, and again, it, it just their task chair is actually better, in my opinion, than the ergonomic chair. So they could have stuck with, <laughs> there it is, they could have stuck in the branch lineup and picked a much better chair that fits more users, has a little bit of flexibility. So yeah, they even, they rank this chair a four-star. So it's like a four-star chair is the one they picked as the best for most people, which is, you know, I'd like to see a four-and-a-half, five-star chair that they would pick for, for most people. The best pick for the best looking budget office chair is this flash chair. We actually have this chair in our office. It's a super cheap chair, really low price. And I get that you could pick it because it comes in colors, but this is one of the cheapest, ugliest chairs we've ever had through our office. The moment that you look at it, you can tell that it's probably not worth the hundred dollars that you paid for it. The armrests look super cheap. So this would be my pick for one of the worst looking chairs. And it's a little frustrating that they didn't just go with the branch daily here since they love branch so much. And that chair was made for looks under $300. So could have killed it on branch affiliate fees. Could have a hundred percent. I mean, yeah, this is just not a chair like you'd want to sit in for long hours. I mean, if you just need a chair that you really want to match the color of your office and it's just going to sit there and maybe you use it for, you know, a couple hours a week, then okay, maybe that would work. You also have to have an ugly office for this chair to match it. Because this chair is just yeah. ugly. It is very ugly. I mean, I think aesthetics are definitely going to be super subjective. And clearly, Ryan does not like this one from a look <laughs> standpoint. But it felt like they just picked it because it was blue and white. And then the deeper that you read into their deeper post, it was exactly that. This chair is available in colors. And look, there's other chairs available in colors that I'm going to agree with Ryan. This thing is so ugly. There are much better options out there. So the next up is a... Best for back issues, and this pick is the Leap, and arguably this is a pick that could have been used for almost all of the other picks <laughs> coming up or leading up to this point, I guess. I think for the pick for best for most people, the Leap is going to be it for me just because it's so widely adjustable. I think it's a great option for people as short as 5'2 and up to like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. It fits them quite well. I don't see another chair in the list that fits a wider range of people. I'm happy to see it here in the list, but i just like to see it higher up. Yeah, this is definitely a great pick for best for back pain. I would agree that you're not going to find a better option out there than the Leap for most people. But it, again, it begs the questions like the Aeron did, that how did you pick the other chairs over this? How did you name the Flexi Spot chair as your best ergonomic chair, but your Leap chair is best for back support? So what does the Flexi Spot do so much better ergonomically as opposed to the back support that it got that rating over the Leap? It's, it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. And you know, this is one where they, they only are giving you the link to go to Amazon because they want you to get that referral click into Amazon. They're not giving you Steelcase's website, which is going to give you a lot more options for getting a brand new chair. So, you know, clearly you see their, their purpose of what they're doing here. They're trying to push you through Amazon. So they pick the leap, which yes, we agree with the leap, but it's definitely, they have a reason for doing that. The other thing is obviously with the higher price tag, far fewer people are going to buy that versus the cheaper chairs. So there is a level in which you can't go beyond if you want everybody to at least consider that at $1,300. That's clearly out of the price range for a lot of people. I get that. All right. Number seven, the X chair, X2K sport management chair. This is the best full mesh office chair. This is honestly laughable knowing that the Aeron is in this list. There is literally no other chair with the exception of maybe now that the Carmen's out that I would ever say is a better mesh office chair. I mean, this without question is the least comfortable chair from the X chair lineup and no one in our office will ever use it. I got, I really don't have anything else. I'm almost positive that this chair was picked solely because it has a massager. If you read the write-up from the author, he mentions the massager three or four times, doesn't really talk about much else and acts like a massager is the end all be all with office chairs. And we just ranked this chair in a comfort list, F tier. And you're, like Greg said, you have the Aaron in this list, which we consistently rank high for everything that we do, except for me personally for comfort. But these guys like it for comfort and for everything else. So this is just a really, really egregious pick. Bad warranty, not a great build, very uncomfortable. So it's very obvious why this chair was picked. Really good affiliate revenue fees on this chair from X chair. 
Yeah, I just did a, a mesh tier list, and this was one of my two F tier chairs. But there are better options, like Greg said. You know, they they had the Carmen in their office. You can see in their pictures they have the Carmen, but they they didn't pick it, even though. You know, we all would agree that that's the more comfortable all mesh chair. So I didn't even catch that they had the Carmen. That's incredible that they picked yep. this over the yep. Carmen. That is <laughs> wow. The other part that I found just a little tidbit in here at nine hundred dollars, this is similarly priced to an Aeron. <laughs> if you get it with yeah, no arms and nothing on it, or wheels or a base, <laughs> like you might <laughs> stretch pick there. But I mean, they're not Fully even loaded. Aeron's eighteen hundred bucks. Exactly, right now. they're not even close. I think there's a few other picks in here that they have. Nine, an Ergotune Supreme V3, and then a Fermax office chair with armrests. I mean, these are just, again, more random picks to try to get you to click. I don't have too much to say on any of these. Do you? Not really. It just feels like another list where they're kind of veering out of their lane a little bit, and they should probably t stick to the techie stuff. So, I, I mean, at this point, is it fair to assume that this... In my opinion, it's made for affiliate revenue for yeah, sure. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I mean, I, again, it's like they got the chairs picked, but they're picked for the wrong category. So it's like they had some of the right ideas. So even if that's their goal, they still are just not nailing it because you could tell they don't have the experience to know enough about the chairs to even put them in the right categories. I question whether or not they even had all the chairs. Yeah. Based on what I read from him describing the leap, describing three adjustments that I don't know exist, and I've been in that chair for five years now, I don't think he's used the leap before. Well, that would make sense. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.